Hey everybody, Mike here. I'm going to do a video today about a e-commerce, open source e-commerce application program called uh, Zencart. I just uh, created or have been creating for the last two weeks or so my own website, standalone website. I got a domain name, Mike'sCollection.com, and I found this open source uh, e-commerce program that's really pretty cool. It's very powerful. Um, I give you a quick look here. Well, you can see the site here. I have some scrolling. I guess you call it a marquee there, and it's pretty standard. You know, click on the old Hot Wheels here, and it'll open up some other categories. We'll go into diecast, and I just have a few items here that I put in just to, um, you know, do some testing and whatnot. I'll show you the stuff there. Oh my gosh! Excuse me. I'm clicking and mousing with my left hand and it could get interesting. We'll put something in a cart here. Add to shopping cart. Then you can check out with some various different methods. I have a little blurb there letting people know if they do PayPal. It'll actually open up a um, um, PayPal app type thing but you can pay through a credit card without having a uh, PayPal account so right now the site accepts money orders uh, cashiers check all that good stuff it accepts credit cards MasterCard credit card and it accepts uh, standard PayPal which is pretty cool I found a guy who does graphics and he made me a cool logo up top there and a neat little YouTube for reselling Let's see if I can get my mouse on it here for reselling tips visit Mike's collection so I'll click on that and of course it opens up my YouTube channel so it's it's pretty much operational at this point go back to home um, it's really a pretty powerful application uh, it has everything you could possibly imagine um, you know about a site map you can do gift certificates discounts um, it does featured products I guess more importantly it's kind of not really important but uh, you can log in, set up your own account, which is nice. So you can hit people with newsletters. It's a full-blown, you know, shopping cart application that's really uh, very robust, actually. So I am very, very happy with this. It, again, it's called Zencart. Uh, the only knock I've heard about it in reviews and and uh, something I can confirm is that if you want to do something highly customized like I have here you really need to do number one a lot of uh, standard customization from their admin client which I'll show you in just a second and also um, you know honestly you're gonna to have to dig into some code you'll have to do some JavaScript um, customization and PHP customization you should probably know HTD, H, HTML I've uh, you know, I'm a guy, I've been doing this, uh, I've been doing application development for about 15 years or so, uh, mainly Domino, I've gotten into Java for the last probably three months or so is what I've been doing now, and um, all that just to say I'm, I'm an IT guy and I've been doing it for a while, and you know, even for me, really digging in and trying to customize this, I was like, wow, you uh, really need to do some digging. However, you do not need to do this level of customization. You can just do a straight out of the box Zen cart and really not do a whole lot from the look and feel perspective. And uh, you know, you could always make a phone call and find some guy who does graphics like I did. Uh, fortunately, it was a friend of a friend. I got a great deal on the graphics, and you know, change some graphics and do some kind of you know light lifting and and not have to worry about digging into the guts. Uh, basically what you're going to need to do is, uh, what am I doing here? Uh, well yeah, anyway, so here's an example of some of the PHP code right here. And this is the type of stuff you'll be digging in to um, you know, do some serious customization. Again, you don't really need to do that. Uh, but what you're going to wind up doing is getting an account with, say, GoDaddy. I happen to go through that because I know a couple guys who use it and they're happy with it. And uh, you're going to uh, set up your domain, get your GoDaddy account for web hosting, and then download Zencart and install it. And fortunately, when you do it with uh, GoDaddy, that's all done automatically for you when you pull down that uh, Zencart application. It's, um, it runs on a Linux platform, server-wise, and uh, like I said, is basically a PHP app. And you're done at that point. Uh, you know, you'll have your store sitting there, and then it's up to you to up to you to do whatever customization you want to do. 
And um, before I forget, I would recommend getting the book. I should have brought that down. I don't have it with me, but yeah, it's probably where they make their money. They have it's open source. It's free. Uh, however, the book, I believe I paid 50 bucks for it, and let me tell you, it was a great, great buy. And I think it's cheaper, like $39 if you get the e-version of it. But I would highly suggest, if you're going to do Zen Cart, spend the $50 on the book. Uh, you know, you're not going to necessarily find anything in the book that you can't find online. However, with the book, it's just it's it's really convenient and, and really efficient because you can simply open up page one and just go through the book and by the time you get through the book you'll have your website set up instead of going out to the internet or even to um, Zencart's website and hunting around for uh, you know the the topics you need and trying to figure out how to get started and what to do first and all that good stuff so buy the book if you wind up doing this and so you saw the website uh, here's an example of some uh, PHP code sitting on the uh, Linux server and here is the client itself uh, admin client and uh, I tell you it's it's just it's overwhelming at first that's another reason to get that book because it steps you through all the ways you can customize your your shopping cart or well, not shopping cart your website and it does it in a very concise and, and logical manner whereas just jumping into this website and admin ca uh, console you you'll be a little overwhelmed I'm looking at this to make sure it's nothing sensitive. I just have a couple uh, test users set up there. Uh, well, I'm not sure what to show you here, but this is where you do all your customization. Let's see here. Uh-oh. Let me pause this real quick. I need to log in. Okay, guys. I'm back. I just had to log in there. Uh, for example, you go into your catalogs here, and uh, there's the categories I have and you just simply drill down into a category you create all the categories and subcategories you want I drill into pins here and add new product add your product and you're done that's pretty slick uh, one of the of course there's various things you need to set up for example uh, they have modules here obviously uh, uh, the two biggest pains for me were number one the payment module uh, figuring out how figuring out how is going to do credit card transactions and um, do all that and I, I found basically three places first data link point uh, you pay I'm not sure about that but what I decided to do is just go with my regular PayPal account right now I upgraded to a pro merchant I think it is and they allow you the um, express checkout with the uh, credit card transactions and it's pretty slick you know the uh, whichever modules here as you can see in the green and red whatever modules that you uh, enable will be the modules that are available to the person so when they're checking out they can select which checkout method they would like to do if it's going to be a money order regular PayPal or a credit card transaction and that's all uh, based on what you select here uh, another module that's really honestly pretty darn convoluted is the uh, uh, shipping module boy there's bunches of different ways you can figure out um, shipping here and the quickest most the easiest way most logical to me was using the um, zone rates and basically that is you set up uh, per state uh, set up zones and I just did the whole US as one zone and then I based all the shipping on weight so if you have uh, you know a pin that weighs let's just say um, six ounces you know the total package you figure and they order five of them it's just going to calculate and say okay there's 30 ounces and that equals x amount of pounds and we'll base the shipping on that and you set up your own table to um, uh, tables to figure out how much you're going to charge for each uh, amount of, of weight that these person have in their, their shopping cart so I have US and Canada set up and I do not have the actually I do have international set up but I'm charging pretty exorbitant uh, shipping fees because I don't really want to mess with that right now which is kind of funny assuming we actually get any orders through this thing but yeah that's um, nothing real in depth here I just wanted to give you guys a, a really quick look at my website here again it's mikescollection.com and let everybody out there who's interested in doing uh, their own website standalone separate from anywhere else especially eBay uh, look into Zencart it's really powerful it, it it takes some customization. I mean, you're going to spend some time working on this, but it is free and it's powerful and it works. So that's it. Now maybe I, that I'm finally got this set up, I'll add some 
decent inventory into it and get around to actually actually listing some more things on eBay. It's just taking a lot of my time here. But I hope everybody is, is having a good evening, morning, lunch, uh, whenever you happen to be watching. And please rate, subscribe, and leave, leave a comment. Take care.